Welcome to the Relaxing Show. Let's get situated. Today's topic, I still have my flowers here. Today's topic is about Mendelic and collagen. So it's part two of yesterday. Hey Leslie, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, let me upgrade you. Welcome back to the Relaxing Show. I didn't say welcome back to the Relaxing Show to Leslie. Welcome back, girl. Good to see you. How have you been? Just key, welcome to the Three Relaxing Show. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm a little late because I uh, had some stuff to do, but, you know, I'm doing good. It is beautiful here in California. Today was just an amazing day. Like, the birds are chirping. Uh, there's kids playing in the pool and it's just like that feels like spring atmosphere welcome to the relaxing show mrs oliver 13 welcome back welcome to the relaxing show kelly renee bay mm -mm -mm. so yeah that's what we're doing today is mandelic acid. We're talking about collagen and how not to make yourself look old from times to come and just to keep your skin looking vibrant. Um, yeah, I've been doing so to this. I always say like, oh, I'm detoxing, but I'm doing a detox before the weekend. So I like to do my detox the day before. So it's time for me to order more pads, boo. Yes, get get your pads, which reminds me, I didn't bring the pads down. Uh, I wanted to bring them down to show those who um, are new. Yeah, make sure you stock up and so you don't have that lagging time of like, oh, I'm not exfoliating because, you know. Kelly, wave back. So... Uh, I'm in the process of detoxing and um, just cleaning myself out and it's very good to just do a detox not only for your skin but for your full body um, and so that's what I'm doing now so it's been really chill just getting healthy. Hey uh, Nelson Kennedy welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. Alright so I'm going to get into announcements. I brought this with me too on the live because I just love the way these look. Uh, it's a dragon fruit and I posted it recently because it is important to take care of your insides as well as your outsides when you're taking care of your skin. And I think that's why I brought up detoxing. Yeah, my wax lady asked for your in, uh, info. She was so impressed with my facial progression. Yes! Can I use that as a review and screenshot that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm doing the most, but I'm excited. Like, I am so happy when my clients have, uh, for those of you who are new, I'm just so happy when my clients have good success with uh, their skin. And um, she said, surely can, thank you. Uh, when they have, let me. When they have good, um, when they have good results is what I'm always excited about because that's the goal. And I have not even met uh, Leslie in person. So I can help you if you are all over, all over the States and out of the States. She said, uh, no bumps for two years. Okay, 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 okay. What's that song on TikTok? Okay, 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 okay. Um, yes, I'm excited. That's so good. And that's like uh another esthetician approved. So that's that's great. 
uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so happy. Yeah, if she wants to start, um, for your lady who wants my info, she can wholesale them in her, her, um, salon. So you can just get them from her because she'll be buying them for me anyways, but, uh, or you can still get them from me. I love them. But if she's interested in having them in her salon to help more people, then I do that as well. So... I won't brought this up because these dragon fruits, this one's good, but the yellow ones are, I think are better. Uh, they are very good for your health, but uh, there's some things that, because it has antioxidants in them, it's good for your skin. So I wanted to show it on here. I've been eating more of these. I'm, I'm probably gonna eat more of the yellow ones just cause I like that it's uh, tastier, but as you are working on your skin journey, whoever is working on their skin journey and changing their eating habits, you could look in this dragon fruit. <laughs> Yesterday I had two announcements. One was when I'll be back and I kind of explained like the process of when I'll be back in the salon. That was just good news that Leslie, I'm so glad you shared Leslie. Thank you so much. Um, so if you are interested in when I'll be back in the salon, you can uh, see yesterday's show. I talk about that. And then the other announcement I had yesterday. Oh no, there is, it wasn't yesterday's announcement, but there is something I do wanna share. So if you've been following me, you know that I talk a lot about vitamin C and how it's important to have vitamin C in your skincare routine, whether just a regular routine, but also especially if you are working on dark spots because vitamin C is really good with uh, helping you fade that. And so yesterday I was saying how serums are a lot stronger than other uh, products in your routine. So a vitamin C serum it's going to be stronger than your moisturizer and that kind of thing. Well, SkinScript is a company that I really like to tell my clients about to use their products. And they came out with a vitamin C cream. So I've been wanting to try it and I didn't order it. And then they, I ordered something else. I ordered a whole bunch of things and they sent me... A sample of it so I'm going to try this this is what it's citrusy nourishing cream and they're basically doing like citrus kind of like a PCA has theirs and you know I like PCA as well so this is the card it came with and then oh and it came with the ingredients on the back um, So I don't know if they're saying that you can replace this with your vitamin C serum. But I will look at I will look more into it. Because what I would recommend for my clients with this new product would be you could do the vitamin C serum and do this cream and then put the moisturizer on after that. Because serums, again, uh go into the skin a lot better but i will look into it i will try it and of course i will offer it for those of you who like cream consistency so there we go so i will let you know how that goes all right i'm going to do the intro to the show and then we're going to talk about mandelic acid. And then for those of you who are new, I introduce the show and explain who I am so you understand uh, what I offer and if any of this will help you. Hey, Janet Williams. 
five one one one. Welcome to the waxing show. I didn't bring my water. Actually, I finished my water. All right. Welcome to the waxing show. Welcome to the waxing show. And so you remember, welcome to the waxing show. I am Becca, a pro waxer, skin therapist, and licensed esthetician since 2010. You guys hear that dog barking? That is not my dog. It's our neighbor's dog. And I don't want to complain, but I may have to eventually complain because this dog barks pretty much all day. Um, but back to what we were talking about, the intro. Uh, I am a licensed esthetician in California and Arizona, so I do believe that it is important to, you know, get skincare information from someone who studied skin. Uh, I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns. Do you see the, re the review? that Leslie left, uh, helping with bumps. And I do this through uh, full body waxing with hard wax, chemical pills, facials, and my products, mostly my acne and ingrown pads, which I have two exfoliating pads. I have acne and ingrown pads and then the fruit enzyme pads. Those are 3B waxing exfoliating pads. And they are great for sensitive skin. They're chemical exfoliants, which are great, are great for sensitive skin. So uh, I talk about how you don't want to stray away from chemical exfoliants just because it has the word chemical in it. Uh, chemical means that it is strong, but it also is gentle because it's not um, physically abrasive on the skin. Hey, L. Davis, 719. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Okay, excuse me. I know, I, I'm not tired. I was just a, a yawn. Sorry for those of you who yawned. I tried to cover it, you know. Mm -mm -mm. L. Davis, hug it back, girl. Um, welcome to the Dubu Waxman Show, 813-813. Let me finish this intro. So I also, not only do I help people with their skin, I also help other estheticians start their own product line, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique. Um, if an esthetician doesn't want to do their own product line from scratch, I also wholesale the pads. Um, I go live Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today. I was a little late. And I talk about different subjects. So this month, we're continuing the series of talking about ingredients. And in the past few weeks, it's been exfoliating ingredients, specifically ones that are in the acne and ingrown pads. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, join the lab. Click the link in the bio on Instagram at 3B Waxing. And then join the lab and you'll get an email for when I go live. And then also information about different ingredients and products and all kinds of things going on. Uh, if you are interested in waxing, so you get waxed, whether you get waxed by me or someone else or you wax yourself, I give tips on how to wax yourself at home, what to do to improve your wax if you're going to somebody else. Join the wax lounge. And then if you are a professional esthetician, uh, cosmetologist slash tech, you want to join the salon tea. I actually sent out a video yesterday to the salon tea with a tip on keeping clientele. And then I'm going to send another one coming soon, probably not today, about asking for gratuity in a respectful, tasteful way because I know some of you professionals have a hard time asking for a tip so you can join salon tea for that information and then I do calls so if you are a professional and you want to book a call with me to get specific help you can do a pick my brain call and then if you are someone looking to improve their skin and you want to do a skin consultation call with the esthetician or you want to learn how to wax yourself at home and me to teach you over video, 
you can do the the skin improvement calls. It's under skin improvement calls, but it's you can book it and it's a wax with me call. Mandelic acid. Mandelic acid, we talked about it yesterday, was is an AHA. And with AHAs, it is exfoliating. So it loosens up the it loosens up the cells in the skin so that that dead skin can fall off. Mandelic acid is derived from almonds. Uh, a few videos back I said it was from apples. I, I misspoke and meant to say, because that's what I was thinking of, malic acid, malic acid. And so malic acid is from apples. Uh, mandelic acid is from al almonds. Hey, JB. Uh, let's see. J. Bri Brene. Welcome to the Three Boxing Show. NY. H25. Welcome to the Three Boxing Show. Um. So we're talking about mandelic. If you just came in, it's an exfoliating ingredient. Good for your skin. It's derived from almonds. It's an AHA, which is an alpha hydroxy acid. And it is also in the pads. It is the sixth ingredient. So we had water, salicylic acid, lactic acid, glycolic, salix, alba, and then mandelic acid. And that's important because you want your skincare products to have the strong ingredients at the top. And you don't want to see your lactic and your salicylic and all that stuff sitting at the bottom because that's not the most active. So, um, collagen and mandelic acid. So, we have collagen in our skin. It's a protein. And it's what like keeps our tissues connected. It is really what makes our skin look soft and feel soft and look young. And babies have a lot of collagen. Now, as we get older, our collagen decreases. It can decrease at a rapid rate if our environment um, has a lot of free radicals or a lot of pollution and those kind of stuff. But it decreases as we get older. Hey, a um, coloner three, welcome to the relaxing show. So as we get older, our collagen decreases, and our goal is to keep that up. So one way to do that is to use products that have ingredients that help collagen production. Now. You cannot take collagen and just put it on your face and it'll build collagen. Uh, the molecular structure of that is not going to work. But what you can do is use other ingredients that will help generate more collagen for your skin. One of those ingredients is mandelic acid. So a big quality of the pads is that you're getting your exfoliating acids, salicylic, glycolic, and lactic acid. Get a little bit of double salicylin because of the uh, salix uh, alba has salicin. But then you are also, and yesterday we talked about how you're getting antioxidants and um, polyphenols from the salix alba. But you're also getting an exfoliating acid. Uh, you're also using an exfoliating acid. I'm going to answer your question in a second. Let me finish my thought. That is helping your collagen. So not only are you exfoliating, you're also improving your collagen because we want to look young. We want to be looking young in our 90s and we want to look 
have that soft skin and be like, we took care of ourselves. So the question is, can you use mandelic acid by itself? And uh, it should be at the top because, yeah, I struggle with, I used to struggle with spelling mandelic acid. Um, it should be at the bottom, but I got the idea. Uh, it's M-A-N-D-E-L-I-C if you're trying to look it up. So yes, you can. There are serums out there. I used to do a mandelic. It actually was a salicylic mandelic chemical peel on people. But yes, you can use it alone by itself. Um, there's chemical pills with mandelic. You'll probably see cleansers with mandelic. Um, from a esthetician standpoint, I know that there's chemical pills where you could just go. I could, if you came in to me to get a chemical pill, we could do just a mandelic pill. Um, overall, there are probably ingredients that have mandelic as the main ingredient. Which, what part of the skin should you use on? So, just to go back to your first question, if a product has mandelic, the goal is to get products that have more than just one, one thing. So, what I teach my clients is you want your products to do a bunch of stuff. So, I've been talking about, you know, all the stuff in the pads. These... All these ingredients we're talking about and benefits are all in the pads. So yeah, you can use mandelic alone, but you want to have your products stack up. So when you're doing using it consistently, you're doing a lot of things at once. You're multitasking without multitasking. Uh, you can use this on all parts of your body. So you can use the pads. Someone asked me the other day, can you use it on your bikini line? Yes. You can for those of you who get ingrowns on your bikini line. Uh, you can use it on your back, on your face, on your underarms. One thing to remember, whenever you're using an AHA, alpha hydroxy acid, or a BHA, a beta hydroxy acid, on your skin, then you want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen. SPF 30 or above, so you are protecting that new skin from the sun because that new skin is sensitive, sensitive and soft. So good question. Um, should it make sense? Thank you for answering. You are welcome. Hey, the Libra. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Three Walks New Show. Good to see you. So that is mandelic acid. If you're working on collagen, start looking for that ingredient. It's in the pads. Um, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. Unpopping opinions podcast. Uh, the Libra says hi. So that is what you want to look for. Working on collagen specifically, collagen specifically. Uh, if your skin's just looking dull, you have, we talked about glycolic because glycolic is, I think it's the third ingredient in the past, third or fourth. Excuse me. <sighs> but you have uh, glycolic, and using glycolic, we talked about builds up upon each other. And so, then you're using mandelic and you're you you're just winning. Do you have to get a wax to use the pads? No, you don't. That's a good question. Um, because I I've, I've gotten a variety of this question today in my DMs. So I'm gonna answer your question, but I also am gonna answer the questions I've been getting. So it's gonna be a full, full on answer. So the pads are something I created for my clients because I do a lot of Brazilians when I'm in the salon. And 
I wanted to have salicylglycolic and lactic acid because they're exfoliating, um, as well as something calming in them. So I wanted to have something that they could use to work on their dark spots, their ingrowns, and all that stuff. Now, when I came out the product, I had all these ingredients because I believe that you should take good care of your bikini line just as much as you take good care of your face. Hey, Berna Fields, welcome to the 3 Boxing Show. And so, when I marketed it, it was just to the bikini line, but then you can use all these ingredients on your face, and then a lot of my clients were using it on their face and getting rid of their acne, and it became a good exfoliant, you know, and it helped with their ingrown hairs on their chin from the hairs that came through. So, you do not have to get waxed. To answer your question, um, it helps your waxes a lot. So someone asked me today, like, when would you use it? Uh, it depends on your skin, but blanket statement, so very basic answer is consistently and then make sure you use it like a few days before your wax and then you start back up three days after your wax. Or if you, you know, are a little more sensitive, then you would scale it back to two time, two days after your wax. Um, now, if you shave, then it will help your shaving. It will help if you get razor bumps or ingrowns. I have a clients. I have clients that I'm thinking of on the top of my head that don't wax, but they shave and they use the pads to get a better shave or uh, prevent shaving bumps. And then men use them on their hair when they're getting shaving bumps or to prevent, prevent shaving bumps. Um, but even if you don't shave or wax an area, you can use them. I've had clients use them on their, their face, like I said, to um, on their face to you know improve their skin like we talked about the benefits or their back if they have acne and getting ready for a wedding or a Vegas trip which I miss Vegas by the way but yeah so good question I'm glad you asked that because it definitely what I was able to answer some other questions that I've been asked today and yesterday yes I shave and get razor bumps and ingrowns and have been interested in in them because the only product that kind of works is tin skin for me but want something better yeah I know that product and um, I'm very familiar because you're probably new to me but uh, I've talked about my journey of getting boils and all those kind of things bumps and stuff and you know that there's alcohol on tin skin and I didn't want alcohol in in my products because it can be drying and so I um, so I don't have alcohol in there but I have salicylic acid and salicylic did a really good job of pulling out the oil and the bacteria that gets in those ingrowns and pulling it up to the surface uh, I do recommend the acne and ingrown pads for you. And then I would say if you want to understand more of the ingredients, because it sounds like you are interested in the ingredients of things and how things work, which that is, you know, you're my perfect client because I love talking about that stuff and teaching about that stuff. I have those videos. Uh, if you click the link in my bio on Instagram at 3 b Waxing. The last button is my YouTube channel and I have uh, all the stuff about those ingredients. So if you are like, I want to learn more about the ingredients and stuff like that, I do recommend that as well. And I would also recommend, and you'll just learn more about it as you're following, waxing. Because waxing does help with uh, ingrowns as well. <clears throat> so good question, good conversation. So that's all for today. Uh, if you found this useful, uh, go and we can check out the YouTube channel, but also I do have a um, perfect skincare guide 
and it goes into finding out your skin type. It's a free guide. If you click the link in the bio, you'll see it. And then if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, I do, uh, she said, nice speaking with you. Yes, nice speaking with you as well. See you later. Uh, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, doing a skin consultation call, I do those as well. And someone asked me this and I want to answer it before I get off. Uh, they asked me, do I take clients like flying in? Yes, I have. I do have clients who fly in to get waxed by me right now because I'm located in California and then I travel to Arizona. But right now I'm closed. Uh, I talked about why I'm closed. Well, it was because of the pandemic, but then I'm getting ready to open this year. But I just talk about kind of the process of me getting going being open. Um, in yesterday's video, but I will be opening. And if you want to fly in to get waxed, because and I'm finding the words to say this is that people like to come to me because well one of the reasons they like to come and get waxed by me is because I really know my I really know my stuff about waxing and I will wax you according to your hair growth like I, I customize the wax experience even when I just use one wax because I use hard wax I, I'm still customizing with how I'm pulling the strip your hair type um, if I notice that you get bumps in certain areas, say like there's some discoloration, I know that I need to be sensitive around the area. There's so many things I'm thinking about when I am waxing somebody that it makes it custom to them where they have very minimal um, breakouts or none at all. Cause someone asked me like, what do you do? How do you stop breakouts with your wax? I'm like, you know, come see me. That's what I'm good at. Um, as well as educating. So I will educate you on all the things you need to know about aftercare, before care, during, um, and then I customize it to how you feel comfortable. Cause like I was saying early, yet yesterday, is I do, you know, as an esthetician, you pick up on people's energy and that's how I'm good at what I do. And part of the reason I'm waiting a little bit to open is because I want to make sure I can identify myself and then other people's energy better. So that way I can serve all my clients the best and keep myself healthy. So I'm tuning in on that as well as finding a, a, a place, a good place to take clients and then also, you know, just restructuring some things. But a lot of it has to do with being able to serve you guys better, where I'm not depleting myself, helping you, uh, and taking on, you know, other energies and depleting myself. So it's a lot of good things coming for the future of 3B Waxing and the salon. And if you are working with me, it's going to be really good. You're going to get your what you need. Um, working on your skin, working on your waxing. It's just going to be very good for you. Um, wherever you are in your journey of skin care and waxing and stuff like that. It's good. So have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy some fresh air. And if you do go outside, make sure you wear SPF 30. I'll see you guys.